What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we got Zerday and this is week number 30 first week of April 2015 Zer is on this speaker side as you guys can tell and let's see what he has for the weekend Similar. so here's his inventory for the weekend not too good off the bat so let's get into it for the Titan we have the glass house helmet increases melee attack speed Replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade and blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. Uh, not too amazing of a helmet um, compared to the other exotics for the titans. But it's okay. It's a decent one. It's an average one. You can go ahead and pick it up if you need to get to light level 32 or stuff like that. For the hunter we have the don't touch me gauntlets. Taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible. Increase reload speed with special weapons and increase super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. Really great PvE exotic for the hunter. I recommend this one 100%. If you have a hunter, uh, really good in the lamp section of Crota Zen Raid as well. Pretty much makes you invincible because you can just go invisible the whole time. It also stacks with your Shadow Jack on the Blade Dancer uh, subclass. So really good. And then for the Warlock, we have the Sunbreaker Gauntlets. Increase the duration of Solar Grenade. Increase reload speed with special weapons. And Melee Hits Replenish Grenade Energy. Not bad Gauntlet, um, but there are better Warlock Exotics. I prefer Praxic Fire as a Sun Singer and stuff like that. Obsidian Mine is also a good Warlock Exotic. Um, but this one, you can buy it if you need it. Uh, he sold it many times before, but he hasn't sold it too often since the DLC came out. So if you haven't gotten it yet, you can go ahead and pick it up now. For the gun, we have the Dragon's Breath Exotic Rocket Launcher. This launcher can hold three shells and rounds fired leave a solar flare upon a detonation. So after it explodes, it leaves the solar grenade type of effect onto your enemy, onto the field, whatever. And uh, to be honest, this rocket launcher is not very good at all. I wouldn't recommend buying it. It also drops quite often in the Crota Zen Raid if you've ever played it. I feel like every time um, I get this as an exotic drop quite often as well as the No Land Beyond. So uh, I recommend that he doesn't sell this often like he does uh, this and the No Land Beyond. I think Bungie should stop pushing uh, the, those two exotic weapons on us. Um, and they should probably sell some older stuff instead. And for the upgrades, we have all these ones. We have uh, Symbiote and Lucky Raspberry. I like this one better. I think Symbiote is one of the best hunter exotics. For the Titan, we have Alpha Loopy and uh, No Backup Plans. Um, both of them are pretty average, pretty decent, uh, depending on your playstyle and the situations. And then we have Apotheosis Veil and Sunbreakers. Uh, obviously, this one would be a better choice because it's good for the Crota's and Hard Mode encounter. And he's also selling Sunbreakers, so you can just buy it instead. For the uh, guns, we have Bad Juju, Minor Multi Tool, Thorn, Patience in Time, Thunderlord, and Super Good Advice. Uh, the best ones here are probably Thorn, and uh, Thunderlord's pretty good. Patience in Time is pretty good for Arc Nightfalls and stuff. Bad Juju's also a decent one, um, but Super Good Advice, that thing's kind of. Not really used in the game, so I wouldn't recommend that one. And uh, Minor Multi Tool is really good, but he did sell it last week, so a lot of people probably just bought it. So, yeah. So, that's it. That's their week 30. Uh, I think for end game players like me, I feel like Zer is a little bit not exciting anymore. Um, just because I have almost all the exotics in the game, so. May we speak. At least for now, while we're waiting for new content, hopefully Bungie. Even though they're probably not going to do anything, uh, maybe spice Zer up a little bit. I wish that would be something that they did, but yeah. I don't know if we're going to see any of that anytime soon, and hopefully we'll see the new DLC come out next month, and uh, Trials of Osiris and all these good events as well coming soon, sooner than later. So yeah, so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.